Hey everybody, welcome back to the best U.S. Mint News channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is August 14, 2024. And in this video, we're going to be talking about U.S. Mint sales. That's right, there's some interesting numbers going on, and especially, well, you'll see when we get there. Uh, and Oh yeah, the gold sales are off the charts again. Still, some more. Yeah, if you can believe that. But before all that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. It's a mighty big number. Not sure exactly what that number is, but it's got to be ginormous. We're ready. Now, we're always live and never, ever edited. Try that at home. Now over here to MoneyMetals.com. Check this out. Gold is up 875 to 2484.15. Silver up a dime to 2813. Platinum up 210 to 956.70. And palladium up 995. Sounds like a price of something. To 983.75. You're looking at an in-stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is 759. The item total will be three, uh, thirty-five seventy-one for a quantity of one through thirty-nine, and check it out. They'll buy them back now for uh, twenty-nine dollars and thirty-five cents. That's the first time we've seen twenty-nine dollars in some time. Now check this out. This is really interesting. So I'm going to go over to you, uh, you Yahoo, yeah Yahoo, and we're at the gold. All right, delivery for December twenty twenty-four, and we're at twenty-five twelve. Even Stephen up four dollars twenty cents this morning, up point seventeen, but. If you go down to gold for December of 2026, yeah, I guess where they're at now with that. So where do you think the markets are thinking gold is going to go? That's right. So you don't need a, a, one of those magazine articles to actually do this. Yeah, it's already there for you. All you just got to do is find it. And there it is. So let's keep on keeping on. Let's go to the bullion sales at the United States. Here we are. Sales totals by month are updated every weekday by 5 p.m. Eastern. You can get here by going U.S. Mint about production sales figures, and then bullion sales. And you got to bring up the program American Eagle and then the year 2024. It's easy peasy. Now, we did get some sales just yesterday. That's right, the 13th of August, and that's awesome. And we're about, well, almost a little less than half, I guess, maybe half actually, for the American Silver Eagles. Isn't that something? And, and are they actually at 1.7 million every single month? Well, it sure looks like it. And, um, and that's really, yeah, that's still, we're looking at 1.7. 8,000 is not much, right? So, well, 48,000, my bad. So the question is, you know, the gold sales, they look pretty healthy here in the bullion department, but also they look healthy in the sales that we're going to show you here in a second. Also, if you look up the bullion sales for the program for the American Buffalo, check this out. They're also very healthy. And I'll just go to year dated coins. Oh, no, I won't. I'll go to month, I guess, for 2024. There we are. Hello. We're, we're live. <laughs> Try that at home. Now, look at this. This is calendar year 2024, and we've got January through August. Yeah, pretty healthy numbers for those one ounce. That's incredible, isn't it? That's a new new story we've added here just today. Who knew? All right, we find ourselves over here at coinnews.net. This is by Mike Unser, dated August 13, 2024. That was just yesterday. And the title of this article is U.S. Mint Sales. S, Silver Eagle. You won't believe the sales on that silver proof. It's a remarkable number. Celia Cruz Quarters and Chester A. Arthur Medal debut. So we had three debuts, remember? Um, and the United States Mint was there at the ANA when these dropped. So these are the ANA sales. Well, not, not necessarily exactly all of them, but that's part, this is part of it. Oh, I had to straighten that out. All right, this says here, last week was busier than usual for the United States Mint with its new product launches, which included the 2024S Proof American Silver Eagle, Celia Cruz Quarters, and the Chester A. Arthur Presidential Silver Medal. The latest sales data from the U.S. Mint in, uh, highlights how these products have initially performed. Love that quarter. That is just remarkable. It's a beauty. No, no doubt about it. Can't wait to see that in a... Uh, it would be cool if they had a reverse proof of that one, I would think. Now, here we go. Let's keep on keeping on. The proof Silver Eagle was released on August 7. Now, that was just about seven days ago now. In two product options, standalone and 40 coin packs for authorized bulk buyers. It achieved combined sales. Look at that, folks. 131,680 coins within the first five days of its release. That is remarkable. Um, and, and we don't really... Uh, well, we've seen the demand for the American Silver Eagle this year, and it hasn't been like it's been in the past few years, but probably because of the economy and the prices that we're seeing, um, well, offered by the United States Mint at $95 a coin, right? Wow, that's a remarkable amount of money. And we got to remember, you know, last time the Mint did this, uh, raised prices on their silver products, um, they were the first ones to see the uh, inflation coming. And I think the United States Mint is actually the one whose lead we should follow and realize that they know what we 
Well, they know what we should be knowing is that prices are going to go back up. In fact, I think the CPI numbers are out today. Uh, the CPI came out for the United Kingdom, and it was much higher than they expected. So, yeah, better put on your seatbelts, I would think. Now, let's keep on keeping down. Uh, breaking down the numbers by options, sales included, uh, 119,000 coins for the standalone product, 12,680 coins for the 40-coin bulk option, with, uh, it says here, uh, 317 units sold. Released annually, the year's proof silver eagle is priced at $95. In contrast, last year's single coin option was initially sold for $80. It recorded a six-day debut. Coin. Wow. Wow, that's a remarkable. Six-day debut of a combined 204,000 coins with 180 coins sold for the standalone options. Wow. Yeah, they're hitting the brakes on that, right? For the standalone option and 24,640 coins for the 40 coin bulk option with 616 units sold. That's about 300 less, folks, almost to the letter. That's remarkable. And what does that say about what's going on? The prices are high, and the economy isn't as great as it was just a year ago now, right? That's a remarkable um, development. Now, debut sales of Abselia Cruise Quarters. These are amazing. They're stunning quarters. Um, the quarter marks the 14th installment of the U.S. Mint's four-year coin series, commemorating the achievements of American women, and is the fourth quarter issued this year. That means there's one more left for this year and then four more for next year and then one for 2026. Combined roll and bag products sold in the early days totaled 1.9 million quarters. That's remarkable. It says here, for comparison, the first three quarters of this year dedicated to Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, Reverend Dr. Polly Murray, and Patsy Takamoto Mink recorded initial sales of 1.8, 2.1, or 2.0, and 1.9 million quarters, respectively. So it's about the same, almost uh, even Stephen. A little parody right there. Uh, it's the same people buying and who haven't left and haven't walked away, right? All the figures represent a slower start than any of the five quarters released in 2023, with their sales debut uh, ranging from 2.1 for the 2023 Maria Chal Chalchief quarter to 2.7 for the Bessie Coleman quarter. The totals are higher than any of the five quarter released in 2022, but that's not a fair comparison as the Mint offered way fewer than 1.8 million for each of them. That's absolutely right. So the high watermark is definitely uh, uh, 2023 for the demand. Or, I guess for the demand was last year. That was the high water mark. And I think the Mint's going to realize that for next year. And they're probably going to lower the stated product limits for the American Women Quarter uh, circulation strikes. That's just my opinion. Now let's keep on keeping on. Debut sales of the Chester A. Arthur Silver Medal. Yeah, it's going to keep on keeping on there. U.S. Mint top sellers. Here we go. Look at that. The Proof Silver Eagle up 119,000. Um, that should be the story of the day, folks, right there. The demand is just not what it used to be. The old gray mare, right? The number two spot, Chester A. Arthur, silver medal, 14,001. Number three spot, the PD&S, Celia Cruz Quarters. That's a three-roll set. Remember, there's 16,000 of those. That means there's 5,000, maybe 4,000 left as it stands now. Number four is the P&D, two-roll set, so 2,892. Number five is the proof set. That's a pretty healthy number, actually. Um, number six is the Celia Cruz Quarters in the 100-coin bag from Philadelphia, followed by Denver. Uh, they're about 500, uh, separates those two. That's incredible. Number eight, number eight. Wow, yeah, that's the 2024 West Point Proof Silver Eagle sold 1,100 units, even Steven. And that's remarkable, too, because we're not seeing much demand for that coin as it were. It only stands, the sales stand at 268,577 for the year so far. Usually that's the mint's uh, bread and butter. Uh, that's just one of those things. A lot to choose from this year. Now, look at this. Number nine is the Proof Harriet Tubman Half Dollar. What? Yeah. Remarkable jump in sales there. I got to show you. And it, I'd be remiss to not talk about that. Number 10 spot, the 2024 American Innovation Dollar Proof Set. Sold 1,061. And I did get mine, and I'm a little disappointed. Um, it's I got some frostiness in the field, and I'm just like, uh Yeah. That's not my favorite thing. All right. In its latest report, the U.S. Mint published uh, sales data for 480 numismatic products. The data revealed that 98 of these products outperformed their sales from the previous week compared to 73 in the prior report. Three products experienced week-over-week -week increases of more than 1,000 units compared to four in the prior report. Six products recorded negative weekly sales compared to seven in the previous report. One of them registered a quadruple-digit loss. That's right. It's the 2024 Philadelphia-minted, uncirculated Morgan silver dollar fell by more than 1660. Now, what's interesting about that is we've seen a few weeks in a row now where the Morgan uncirculated has lost big numbers, 
Huge numbers. All right, the four roll and bag products featuring Missouri Innovation dollars were among the decliners for a second week in a row with losses ranging from 151 units to 235 units. That's exactly what I predicted uh, for that particular uh, innovation dollar. All right, now here we go. Let's look at the commemorative coins from the greatest generation side of things. That's uncirculated. That one's beautiful. One of my favorites. Uh, had an increase of 1.17%, sold 85. But look at this. Now, I think this might be um, the Honorable Ventress Gibson's uh, influence and her pull on the sales for the Harriet Tubman from those two events that she did. I think one of them was in North Carolina and one of them might have been in Cincinnati. That's uh, interesting how uh, she had some pull there and increase. I wonder how much money she made for the mint that day. Did it pay for her to go out there and do that stuff, right? Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars, look at that, lost 1660 um, look at the numbers for the uncirculated uh, peace dollar and Morgan silver dollar. The demand is just not there this year, is it? It really isn't. Let's keep on keeping on. Yeah, I think this is like the the want want story of the year, the Liberty of Britannia. Um, the gold, yep, four more of those sold, and in the silver medal uh, arena outside of things, yeah, they sold another seventy eight. So when is a coin sold out, and when is a coin not sold out? I just, it's a head scratcher. Look at this between the Marine, it's between the Marines and the uh, United States Army for the Armed Forces silver medals. That's right. Look at them battling it out. Only 12 separates them. I think the Marines could do better. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Clad proof sets, increase of 1% there. 2024 American Innovation Dollars, uh, they had an increase there. And that stated product limit was kind of rare and random. Uh, number, uh, let's see, the next one on this chart. 2024 American Women's, Women Quarters proof set sold a bunch uh, as well. Isn't that interesting? And I think that's the biggest story uh, so far, except the story we've been telling about the gold, right? That's just incredible. Uh, the gold sales, incredible. Proof and reverse proof silver eagles. Proof and reverse proof silver eagles. Huh, who knew? All right, look at that. 2024 sold 1,100 exactly, and they sold 80 of the bulk coins. I thought that was the story right there. Who knew? And then we got here, uh, uncirculated silver eagles. Look at this, proof American eagle gold coins. Look at that. What? Yeah, sales of gold is just incredible this year, folks. Look at that increase, 1.9% for the uncirculated. Oh, and you won't believe what I saw here. I, I had to highlight it. Proof American buffalo. Look at that, almost 3%. And look at this. What? Yeah, American palladium. Remember, palladium is, well, <laughs> look at the price on palladium, 983 to 954. That's remarkable. And so... Uh, yeah, look at that. 232 of them were purchased by whom? I don't know, but it was an increase of 4.21%. What? That's incredible. Now, look at this. This is the innovation dollars out of Missouri, and we do expect things like that to happen. Um, and it is, typically happens with the innovation dollars before any other uh, products. Um, I don't know why, except the Alabama one. And I got to bring up the Alabama because two people bought like 100 coin bag from Denver. Way to go, you. That's awesome. And then a 25 coin roll set from Denver as well. And those were the ones that both had the lower uh, stated product limit as well. So kudos to those folks. Uh, excellent purchase. I think that one's the winner, winner, chicken dinner of all the American innovation coins for 2024. Can't wait till next year's come out. Um, and I think we're looking at Arkansas and Florida uh, for the first two coins next year. Here we are at the Native American dollar rolls. Yeah, nice jump in sales for that one too. Look at that, four and a half, five and a half, and four and a third almost. Yeah. And that's the big boys, too. 100 coin bag and the 250 coin boxes. Mm hmm. Yep. Solid numbers. Kennedy half dollars. Look at that. That's the 200 coin bag. Sold 77 for an increase of 1.2%. And then we have the Dr. Mary Edwards Walker quarters. Look at that. 15 of the 100 coin bag sold, increasing sales 1.21%. And it's nice to see the American Women quarters uh, get some love. And don't forget, um, where are we at with the. Uh, Oh yeah, the Celia Cruz quarters. If you if you haven't gotten these, okay, because look at the sales here, and these could go down as well. Because look at the sales here for the hundred coin bag. You compare and contrast that to the uh, Dr. Mary Edwards Walker. Yeah, it's half. All right, and look at this eleven thousand compared to already ten thousand after weeks of being available. So we could see a reduction in sales there, folks. Now let's go to those plus ones. We are done here today. Bam. Proverbs 29, 27, a man of inequity is the abomination of the righteous, and one who walks an upright path is the abomination of the wicked. That means wicked people and righteous people don't merely disagree with one another's approach. They actively hate what they see in each other. Come on, can we all just get along? And now this is Rush, the spirit of radio. And I'm son of a silver stacker, and it has been a pleasure speaking to you on this video. I'm out.